Yo, what's up? This is Rain. You tuned in, so don't quote me. You're watching the preview right now. Please make sure y'all hit the description, tap in, watch the full episode, because you're missing out. This is just the appetizer. Go get the full entree, you heard? One. Something that we've talked about Rain with Rain multiple times on the pod is mm -hmm. ghostwriting. Yeah. Right. And and just what that experience is like. Yeah. He shared stories about how he worked with Dre before. Mm -hmm. Um, who are some artists that you've worked with and, and how kind of did those ex experiences change your outlook on on the rap game? Well, you know, I've never named who I've Oh, you haven't? Never? Nah. Mm -mm, nah. Oh shoot. That way the phone keep ringing. That's the love. Yeah, man. That's, <laughs> that's yeah. love. But but my experiences though, um, I'm in the literally I was filling out some paperwork today. On some split sheets for some stuff that's getting ready to come out mm. with some goes right work i did like before i got here so it never stops and it's a blessing um it's dope you know it, it's another another lane to get in and and uh generate income as well flex that pen the ill thing about it and you know rain can attest this as well for all the work he's done you know you doing things that you wouldn't do in your own career per se so like you look at me right you know sky zoo underground you know um you know, whatever, boom, bap, all that, that mm -hmm. I represent and the whole thing. But then some of the records I've written, people would have no idea that I would ever even be in the room with that, with that type, type of energy. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, strip club joints and club joints, right. pop joints, you know what I mean? Right. So, and that's dope to be able to flex that muscle because right. as a writer, you're writing, right? So, like, if you're writing horror movies forever, you don't never want to write a Love Jones, you know what I mean? So, yeah, it's yeah. like, you get to dance yeah. in that world, too, you know? So, yeah. that's, that's one of the things with ghostwriting. And a lot of times, too with the ghostwriting, some of the people I write for, they'll be on the come up, they'll be younger, they'll be kind of in the same lane, they'll be peers, same age, and sometimes it's older heads that are like OGs and people that have been around forever, and now, even though you're pinning for them, you're learning from them at the same time, and there have been situations where I'm pinning for somebody, but I'm getting so much knowledge, like I become a sponge to like everything that mm -hmm. they kick and just about creating a record. Right. Meanwhile, I'm there doing the writing, so like that's, you know that that's that's the steak and potatoes on a plate but at the same time everything else that's dressed up around it you're learning that element from them right while you're helping them and while you <clears throat> throwing them lines and pitching and blah 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 so you know it's dope man it's 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 smooth you know i got in uh i got in the ghost writing through my brother ill mine mm -hmm. Oh, shout dope. to me, shout to, yeah. Pass the ox and all that. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. That's my bro right there. Yeah, with pass the ox. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'm Her. so glad I didn't write that Ilman question. It was a oh. pass the ox question. You can't I hate, fuck I hate with me. Let me take this. <laughs> I hate Frank. I hate Frank. God, we're looking at today. Oh, 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 we gonna yeah. smoke, yo. We yeah. gonna smoke, yo. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. of the trip, it's house. Let me ask you something. Yeah. You always, you just said that you pin stuff that people would never think that you were right. <laughs> right. My question to you is. Yeah. Question already. When you pin something like that, what makes you feel like you shouldn't just presented to the world as yourself meaning like mm -hmm. i mean in like some artists might feel like i could do anything so anything i pen i'm coming out with it you yeah, feel what yeah, i'm yeah. saying what makes you feel like this ain't me or whatever let me, let so, me just auction this off to the yeah. to the to the best seller yeah no nah, absolutely so the way it works man like for me personally like i hate when i hear a record and i could tell who wrote it you know what I mean? I can yeah, so -so so I can tell Absolutely. off the rip. So, so like I don't I don't write records and pitch them. Right. It's all work for hire. Like I'm brought into that situation specifically for that person. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like specifically, okay, come through, we're gonna da 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 da. I need a record about this, or I'm working on this, or whatever it is. So it's all tailor made. And like there's, there's two descriptions I always give of it. One is the best way to describe it is I'm a tailor as far as like, you know, I got my own shop and I'm sewing up suits and all that mm -hmm. you come in the spot asking for a yellow suit brown stripes purple polka dots i would never wear that shit. right God if that's you. what you want i'll whip up the best version of that ever and, and get you right you know what i'm right. saying but i would never wear that right. but i'll put it together for you you know what i mean and then also too as far as like what you said you, you may come up with a record and be like yo i should have kept that or i could pop with that that could be a top uh -huh. one or whatever, whatever i look at it like if you got a restaurant I, and i got a restaurant so like if you got a restaurant, let's say you got a soul food restaurant and you're known for that. Uh -huh. And you're known for the best soul food in the city. By Everybody come to you every day. People come out of town. They go, yo, I got to take me to this spot that I know. And then one day, heads come in there and you serve a Mexican. 
Same name, same everything, but you serve me. Now the trust, the belief, the equity, all that's gone. Because now I can't trust it. Now it's like, yo, I used to come in and get the best shit. I came in there one day, they didn't even tell me they was changing the vibe. Yo, everything, the name, everything looked the same, but they hit me with tacos, blah, blah, blah. Yo, I, I don't trust it now. But before that, I could literally drop and you're like, yo, I'm going there. I, I ain't even taste nothing. I'm going. I already, I know what it is. I got belief in it. I got stake in the game. And you don't want to lose that. But like, that's that that equity with the people is kind of that pricey, sounds you know like I mean? when people say, oh, he went commercial. I can't fuck with him no more. Well, there's so many layers to when you try to shoot that commercial shot, if it's going to work or not. A lot of it is in your control and then twice as much isn't. You know, mm -hmm. and, and Rain is somebody who's been in there. And he knows well, like, it's so much of it that's not in your control. Like, I've had records that was like, yo, that record could go. That record could go. And, and I always make the record that I feel works for the project. So I'm going to make it if it makes sense regardless. But, like, like Speakers on Blast was probably, at a moment, was, like, the biggest radio record I had. Like, Speakers on Blast went crazy. When me and Illmind did that, Sorry. it was on the radio every day that summer. Power 105 was playing it every was day. That? 2010. 2010. Power 105 was going amazing. stupid on it. Enough on Hot 97 went was going crazy. crazy. He was spending like 20 Shout minutes a day him. on it. Like mm -hmm. He was literally just cutting it, bringing it. It was. I, I did the remix. I had. I had Banks and Mano on it. Shout mm -hmm. to them. Mano, my guy. Um, that record went crazy, and that was a record where it was like, yo, if there was a fifty thousand dollar radio budget, it could have been a whole different conversation, right? right? right. I had that same type of record again with Luxury with West Side Gun, my brother West. Mm -hmm. You know, I've always done those type of records if they make sense for a project. I, I don't make it just to try to have a shot at the radio. Like like we said earlier, yo, let's make the club record. Like right. I make the record that makes sense for the project. And if it makes sense and it could be a record that work on the radio or the club or whatever, then so be it. But, right. you know, trying to shoot that shot without the right heads around it to catch a rebound. It ain't really worth it, you know. Nah, what I mean? Like <laughs> it ain't, you know. Nah, what I mean? let, yeah. let me ask you this one more question. Yeah, yeah, you good. Uh, if somebody was to make a hit that's on the radio, blah blah blah, is, is circulating as they predicted it to be. Yeah. Why? What do you think is preventing them from following up? Because a lot of people have a problem making that second record. Yeah. What? 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 What do you think is the is the whatever is missing with them finding that second record? Well. The heads could go out one night and and shoot 10 for 12 from three. You know what I mean? And and it's like, wow, son did that. And then never do it again. But then you got guys who's really shooters and really average 50, 40, and 90. You know what I mean? You got so, designer making panda and then he can't make another. Like, why right. can't he make another panda? I want to I want to. All right. Why do you think? I, I, I why do you think that. that? Well, I mean, you've been right now kind of like what we doing. Uh -huh. Right in camps. We'll get into that one day later. But like how we got the writing camp going on, right? And how we go searching for records for people. It's not always good. Every day, sometimes <laughs> some days you find like some real good shit. Some people are very creative. Yeah. Sometimes niggas is drunk playing around. Niggas ain't got shit. Yeah. So it's it's no way. It's no way to really like gauge to gauge that or answer that. Even yeah. I can say even from from me, sometimes I'm extremely creative. And other days I'm like I'm not feeling it, or I don't have the right beats, or I don't mm -hmm. have I can't think of the right hook, or I didn't go outside and live enough. Yeah. And I think that's a lot of problem with like the sophomore jinx too, because like with the first, like your first album, you have your whole life to write that. Yeah, hundred percent. And then your second album is from that point too. You got a year. Nah, I understand <laughs> yeah, that, but I'm year. just talking singles. I'm not. Oh, talking about a year. Like, body things, work. Like finding of the record. You can find a record. You go out find the record, and be like okay, unless you're like a. A writer, yeah. where you could create the record, yeah. but sometimes you gotta find the record. You gotta find the right producer, find the right hook, find. Yeah. The and then that's coming with the hook. And, then, and, and, and then the money, the budget. Like he just yeah. said, the budget. Oh, I said it's real life. Has the budget. It's Absolutely. Gotta get work. I think that's the key. Yeah, because you have a second record. Your yeah. second record could be better. You yeah. could you could buy a number one hit. Yeah, hundred you know percent. So yeah, that, that's kind of tricky. It, there's so many layers to it, man. Go, go. Let me ask you this: Do you ever write to the budget? Meaning, <laughs> what is that? do you ever write to the budget? Meaning, like, yo, my man said he gonna want me to come come in and write, and they gonna give me five thousand dollars. Okay, I'll help you write a joint. Versus a hundred thousand. Versus nah, 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 nah. Where you know, like, I can really write this. Right, right. A joint and that's it. But you, 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 I'm not, I'm not selling you in the club for five thousand dollars. That's when I know my phone. Nah, I'm, you know, like as a rapper, you know when you got something. Yeah. 
I, I be spoiling people, man. I I, I go all the way. No, oh, if I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. If, if, yeah, yeah. If, and if I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. You know, what I'm you saying? gonna hit a home never, run every time, no matter. Do it, yeah. And if, it's, it's, if, if you, you hit a not, joke, you know if you hit a home run, they might be like, damn. That might turn into a multi-million dollar home run, and it yeah. might turn into like, yo, I need you to do or it. Or it could turn into a home run without the cameras on. Oh, yeah. I got a question. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who's your favorite rapper? Jay-Z. Simple question. Yeah. Right. I knew this. Yeah. So <laughs> of course. <laughs> Where are you going? Right? What are you doing? What are you up to? No, I got a uh, right now. I just need the floor. This is okay, okay. Floor. Yeah. It's, it's a mad part. Uh, <laughs> but, but we're going somewhere. We're going somewhere. Uh, go ahead. It, there was a um, there was a segment before. I can't remember what it was called, but it was some guy running around. He had he had the guys of our time mm -hmm. at that time. I think it was like might have been 2010. Could have been earlier, later. Who knows? Doing acapella verses of our favorite rappers. Mm. How so? What you mean? Like, well, you had to like rap your favorite rappers verse acapella, and you did regrets. Oh, I remember that. You it remember was like that? a BT thing, right? I think it's called verses. And I was, in park. Park. I, I was in the park. I was in the park. I remember that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I was a fan of that. I was like, he, he kind of killed that kind of mm. clean. Kinda Yo, killed. I remember that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that's funny my favorite. I did not get down. And they, ah, that's it. Yeah, okay. The same day, I did not get down. You oh, up. Okay, yeah. I just wanted to throw that out. There. I remember that. Yeah.